ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் குக்கிங் மேட் ஈஸி ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் வாண்டட் டு டெல் யூ ஒன் திங் நைன்டி பர்சன்ட் ஆஃப் மை வியூவர்ஸ் ஆர் நாட் மை சப்ஸ்கிரைபர்ஸ் ஸோ ஐ ஜஸ்ட் ரிக்வெஸ்ட் யூ ஆல் டு ப்ளீஸ் 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 சப்ஸ்கிரைப் மை சேனல் வல் டுடே ஐ வில் பி மேக்கிங் மேத்தி மட்டர் மலாய் ஃபார் தேட் ஐ ஹாவ் டேக்கன் மேத்தி லீவ்ஸ் ஐ ஹாவ் வாஷ் தெம் வெரி நைஸ்லி அண்ட் ஃபைனலி சாப் தெம் ஐ ஹாவ் டேக்கன் ஓன்லி த லீவ்ஸ் நாட் த ஸ்டெம் அண்ட் யூ ஹாவ் டு வாஷ் தெம் வெரி நைஸ்லி அண்ட் தென் ஐ ஹாவ் டேக்கன் பாயில் கிரீன் பீஸ் பட் இஃப் யூ விஷ் யூ கேன் டேக் ராக் கிரீன் பீஸ் ஆல்சோ ஐ ஹாவ் பாயில் தெம் இன் மைக்ரோவேவ் நார்மல் ஃபுல் பவர் ஃபார் செவன் மினிட்ஸ் Two tablespoons full of malai I have taken. This is of two days malai. But if you don't get malai of this consistency, you can always use um, fresh cream, normal fresh cream. I have taken one onion, chopped, finely chopped. And ginger garlic paste I have taken, uh, one teaspoon each. And I have taken one medium sized tomato paste. But instead of this, you can use tomato paste. puree also and here i have taken salt sugar coriander powder uh, turmeric powder and uh, dry red chili you can substitute it with kashmiri red chili also and all i require very little amount 1 teaspoon each and salt and sugar according to your taste actually sugar will be just a pinch of it just to balance the salt 1 teaspoon full of ghee or clarified butter we require very little fat in this preparation because we will be adding malai to it malai will release a lot of fat so that is the reason the fat content we have to keep minimum now let's start the cooking and go to our next step heat the pan and add the clarified butter or ghee we need not to burn them and just add the methi leaves to it a good mix at high flame after frying a minute or two i'll just cover it for some time after 5 minutes I will be adding a little bit of salt to it and do not add too much of salt because uh, methi leaves contain a lot of salt. It has released some water so I will be frying it for another one or two minutes. In the meantime I will be mixing my malai and I'll soften it. The malai has become enough soft now. just look at it it's quite soft now now we'll look into our methi leaves yes they are also nicely done and crisps i'll put off the gas and transfer it into another bowl before we go into our next process now see friends um, after frying our methi leaves should look like this a little bit moist but some crispiness should also be there now i'll heat a little bit of white oil and fry the chopped onions they should be golden in color uh, in moderate flame i will be frying it so that it consumes less oil now i will be preparing a mixture to my tomato paste i will be adding the ginger garlic paste salt sugar and all the powdered spices after mixing everything it will look like this now back to our onion uh, they are nicely fried they are golden in color and the rawness has totally gone now to this i will be adding the mixture that i have prepared the tomato paste and all the powdered spices and the salt and sugar here friends again i will be repeating the sugar will be just a pinch just to balance the salt it should not taste sweet and to 
everything I will be giving a good mix till the oil separates and the rawness of it goes. I will be covering it for some time. After 5 minutes, I will be opening the lid and see the oil has separated. Now the flame was very low at this point of time but now I will be increasing the flame a little bit and I will be adding some crushed kasuri methi to it. This gives a wonderful aroma. You can say friends that why kasuri methi when we are doing the dish with fresh methi leaves. But trust me friends, it's going to give a lovely aroma as I said. Now I will be adding my mutter green peas, boiled green peas to it. A good mix to everything. Now finally goes the methi leaves, fried methi leaves. And again a good mix to everything. If you can handle uh, you can put the flame on top and fry a little bit or to be in a safer side let the flame be at moderate and you take some time but mix everything very nicely. Now we will be adding the final ingredient that is the malai. This will give a lovely texture and body to your dish. <coughs> Now at this point of time, be very careful about the flame. Your flame should be at the lowest point. See the malai started melting. Oh no, it's looking so beautiful. Now here you have to gently mix everything. And remember friends, the flame of your gas stove has to be minimum. Now the lovely aroma started coming. And look at the dish it is also looking so yummy but you have to have a little bit of patience here for at least two to three minutes at the lowest flame you have to cook it very nicely till the rawness of the malai goes off and it mixes with the dish very nicely so it is done now friends I will be just dishing it out so once again one more request friends those who are new friends please subscribe the old friends those who have not yet subscribed please 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 do subscribe and like my channel if you feel like cooking this dish just cook it and let me know how do you feel about it and I'm sure it is going to be very tasty so friends be happy be merry